what up y'all we are back i am officially back from my little vacation month i'm not gonna hold y'all i spent like maybe 10 or like 11 days out of that month like actually working and then the rest like i was vacationing like my birthday was on the 29th so your boy's officially 31 now but that doesn't matter we are officially back to work so there will be more videos coming i will be going live on twitch a lot this month so y'all make sure y'all follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash billy binges but anyways Let's get caught up on The Mass Singer. We're getting into episode four. Episode five drops tomorrow, at least at the time of me recording this. So I will be back up to date and caught up. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. If you'd like to see the full episode, head over to patreon.com slash Billy So Crazy. But let's get into it. Singer has always been your one-stop shop for celebrity sleuthing. Over the last three weeks, three groups of mass superstars have made headlines competing for the Golden Mask Trophy. I somehow managed to avoid spoilers, so I don't know who won last week, who got unmasked. I don't know anything. Now we're sticking with Group C, and we're following their every move until they crown a group champion. Plus, the exclusive scoop on the first plot twist of the season. The wild card. Don't touch that remote. Turn him off. It's Mad Singer TV theme night. And it starts right now. Just sit right back and you hear a tale. No way. Is everyone going to sing this season? <laughs> what? On board this tiny ship. You can tell Jiggy is not singing at all. She definitely looks singing. I like how the boat says U.S. Mass. The skipper too. That's me. The millionaire. <laughs> That's me. The movie star. The professor and Marianne. Here again, again, so. Wow. Give it up for him, y'all. I never seen um, uh, Gilligan's Island. I think that's what it's called. I never seen it. What's up, Gilligan? He's the millionaire. <laughs> Welcome to the Mass Singer. That's a nice suit, Nicholas. Grab some popcorn and settle in for a night of unforgettable TV show themes. And it wouldn't be the Mass Singer without a twist. Our first wild card of the season is here, ready to snatch that remote. It seems like the volume's low. What is going on here? Mom's to a flame. I'm ready for my close-up. Lights, camera, more lights. Action. In a world of second hand darling, I set the pace. <laughs> I may be cold, but what is going on I here? The stage, I'm hot, hot, hot. I'm TV theme night's biggest twist, but you'll never guess my real identity. <laughs> Welcome back, Super Sleuths. We're on to the final mystery singer of the night. For the first time this season, release the wild card. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, the wild card. I love the wild card. Wow, this is a big deal. Look at them. Wild card, wild card. Wild card, wild card, wild card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really happen up the wild card thing now. The lion? Lioness? been hugged by a lion before come on over here sir lion be careful nick be careful it's a lion who is sir lion pause and decode these clues 
every good nice of television needs a twist. So what better role for me to play than the wild card? Like the king of the jungle, I come from a well-known pride, but never took it mm. for granted. I jumped through hoops to become a ringleader in Hollywood, rubbing elbows with everyone. That's an actor for Tom sure. Tom Cruise to Tom Hanks. But in show business, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Maybe he's a comedian. Luckily, lions are fierce. And I've landed on my feet no matter what this town throws my way. Rockefeller Plaza, 30 Rock. Maybe he's a nighttime host in New Saturday York. Night Live. In Hollywood, success and struggle go together like a horse and carriage. Now get ready to fall in love with this life. That was a really cool shot. I like that. That was hard. Look how cool this looks. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, not the love and marriage. Love and marriage hey, love and really good show, by the way. Married with children. Yes. I love this song. Like a horse and carriage, this I tell you, brother. You can't have one without the other. Love and marriage, love and marriage. It's an institute you can't disparage. Ask the local gentry, and they will say it's elementary. Try, he sounds really try, familiar. Try and separate them. It's an illusion. Try, 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 and you will only come. Oh. Let's go to this conclusion. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. I don't recognize his voice at all. Together like a horse and carriage. Dad was told by mother. You can't have one. You can't have He does sound like like a like a thief. Like an act actor. A theater. A theater, if you will. I know, kind of like he like like he does stage plays too. It's very recognizable oh, voice. A roaring performance. I think I know who it is. Really? You did? I think I heard it. You did not. No I heard way. it in the voice. I think so. We didn't even get to that. I'm going with Robin. He sounds very Let's confident. Talk to Sir Lion about his performance. I thought I heard an accent. I thought you might be from where I'm from. I agree. I, I agree. I thought I thought he came out very regal. You know, he very had an air, an air about him, something uh, very uh, confident. He was the star in his theater class his whole life. Or in his mom's living room. <laughs> Indeed. Let's get a clue. Come on out. Clue me, baby. I was the star in my mom's living room. I'm still the star in my own bedroom. Or office now. Yeah. Well, we know nobody's going to sing the Flintstone song now. Co-star. Co yeah, so he's an actor. I wasn't in the cartoon, but I've co-starred on a different TV show with Betty Rubble. Betty Rubble? Okay, Betty Who Rubble Betty was Rubble? Rosie O'Donnell. Yes. Mm. So what you guys got? I kind of heard Is something this the dad? in the voice, you know. I'm Roseanne? Anchor, so we're starting to think, could this be a uh, like an, an anchor of a news show? Yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh, an anchor man? And it talks about being from a famous family, and a lot of people don't know this, but this guy's uh, mother was Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh, wow. It doesn't get more regal than the Vanderbilts. I think that this is CNN's Anderson Cooper. That's a great guess. You know what you just think, really, honestly, when you combine the radio <laughs> and everything? I, I, maybe. I feel yeah. like this, it's the height. This I can see like the height. Ryan, who's actually an anchor on E! News, also for a brief, brief time on the Today Show. Not a bad yes, not a bad yes. Who are you thinking, Rita? You know what, Jay, I actually think it's somebody that hosts and has their own TV show. The Anchor, one of my favorite shows, Below Deck, it's on Bravo. <laughs> I actually think this might be Andy Cohen. Good guess. It could de that's a very good guess. Who knows? I don't know what Andy Cohen sounds like, so maybe. So good with people, right? Yeah, you can feel like you're so good at Absolutely. connecting, and that was just so, so fun. And thank you, it was really great. Fantastic job. Let's keep it going, Sir Lion. 
Watch out, Nick. Watch out. He's out for you. Men in black, help him out. Yeah. All right. Studio audience. Panel Used to putting on a show, that's for sure. For your favorite singer of the night. The bottom two will face off in a pulse pounding smackdown. We're going to tally the votes, and we'll be right back after the break. The lion really impressed me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Da, 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 da. Robin is, Robin's literally that's stealing that. hearts. Stop stealing I'm hearts. I'm giving away kisses. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? All right, let's see who's going home or who's in the bottom two. Welcome back. The votes have been counted. The two singers with the least amount of votes heading into the SmackDown are. Who's going to the SmackDown, baby, baby? Oh, I hate this part. I think Sir Lion should be at the bottom, and this, this is hard, man. Maybe. This is a tough one. Maybe yeah, potty the mouth. So the yeah. Poodle mouth. I said potty mouth. Oh. Ah, Lizard and Sir Lion. Wow, oh, Sir Lion. Sir Poodle Lion. Mouth and clock. Congratulations, you guys. They're just going to keep putting Cisco back. at the bottom. Minute like, please help him out. Wow. oh my goodness. Oh, they don't want to see my boy Cisco win. He's gonna get. Cisco's gonna have to unmask this episode. Whoa! Wow. Look at Lizard. I get to hear Lizard sing again. I'm in. Lizard and Sir Lion. Yeah, yeah they're gonna get Lizard up out of here. Panel, There's no way Lizard got to the bottom two to twice. Ready? It's SmackDown time. Let's go! In this corner. Here to shed some skin in the game, it's Lizard. Woo! Go, Lizard! Love you, Lizard. I love you, man. And in this corner, uncaged and ready to rip the competition to shreds, it's Sir Lion. Yes, bring it! What? <laughs> Why is that kid so hype? Dang! <laughs> that dude was jumping up and down like crazy. What is it? Three, two, one, SmackDown! Oh, they're doing a theme song? Wait. There's work to this? It's an interesting choice to finally let me listen to the whole song. 11, 14 seasons in. Cisco is owning this, though. Honestly, if Cisco doesn't sing the intro, they should. They should let him sing it. Is that auto tune? I woke up in a soho doorway, a policeman knew my name. He said, You can go sleep at home tonight if you can get up and walk away. He I staggered back to the underground and the breeze blew back. But in the breeze! I remember throwing punches around and preaching from my chair. Yo, his is just more like up tempo. I prefer Cisco's voice, but his is definitely more like, hey, hey, hey. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is a song that we all know and love. Yeah, that's so, our theme song. That's, this is amazing. That's the theme song yeah. of our show. That was surreal. Oh yeah. Uh, is about don't eat him <laughs> don't eat him hey hey be careful now with the shaking 
You're going to make his mask fall off. They smack down. Yeah, what I, what They're going to send Cisco that, home. You know, I know he's it. Coming out, he's got all the high energy, all the moves. He's giving it the soulful voice. And then Sir Lion was taking it to Shakespeare. You know what I mean? That's it true. Was, <laughs> yeah, the lizard likes to play with the audience, and yeah. Sir Lion likes to pull them in. There you yes. go. Yes. Like a Leo would. Well said. All right, world panel, you know what time it is. You know what Vote to do. Now. For your favorite. I don't want to. It comes with a job, Rita. Oh. Who do you want to see move on in the competition? Is it Lizard? <laughs> or is it going to be Sir Lion? <laughs> After the break, we find out who is rounding out the Threes Company in Group C. Don't change that channel. I don't have to, Nicholas. I'm watching this later. Ha, huh. joke's on you. Welcome back. The singer taking the final spot in the Group C Finals is... I can't look. Oh my God, who is oh it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh my God. Say so <laughs> Lisa, 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 Lisa. Oh my god, he wants it so bad. The lizard! Wow, he won for the second time. He won for the second time. You get to keep it on. He better not end up at the bottom of next week. The lizard has done it again. This man he'll go three for three. If he if he goes to the bottom two next week, or this week or whatever. And he wins. Something tells me he's gonna he's gonna take the whole thing. Like there's no way. There has to be a reason for that, right? Come on. Wait to see who you are. You can't be the underdog three times and then still lose. Nah. I think I got a good feel about this. I uh, he comes from a famous family. He's one of the most popular anchors on all of television. Anderson I Cooper. I think the Sir Lion is my man, Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. I can get behind that guess. I can get behind it. All right. Who wants to go next? The radio clue is because where he got his start. Sir Lion is Seacrest out. Oh, okay. that bad? You know what's funny is I really don't even know Ryan Seacrest all that you much, know, for real. interviewed Seinfeld, the boat clue. Even though it seems like it. he's everywhere. This is Andy Cohen. All right. I like that gas a Good lot. Guess. Thanks, Jen. Um, But we've got 30 Rock is where yep. he shoots his talk show. Yep. He's interviewed Jerry Seinfeld, Rosie O. He was an anchor on Weekend Update. This is Jerry this Seinfeld? Be the lovely, talented Seth Meyers. Oh. oh, good guess. Good guess. That's a good guess. All right, panel, let's see if any of you are correct. Let's find out. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know any of those white men oh, like that. I really don't. I'm not familiar with them at all. I wouldn't know what they sound like, and if I was to see them in person, I wouldn't even really know what they look like for real. I know a lot of y'all like Billy. Come on. I'm dead serious. I really wouldn't. Billy Bush? I don't know who that is either. No clue who that is. But shout out to the Billies. Shout out to the Billies. <laughs> Gosh, Jenny, you should have known that. I should have known that. Oh, oh my goodness. Billy Bush is in the building, y'all. Uh. Wow. Billy Bush. Thank you, folks. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you know everybody here, man. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Interviewed everybody. Billy, I had no idea you sing like this. I am not a great singer. You is are he? a great singer. <laughs> you can't get him with the I'm not a great him. singer. I tried right, to, like, Billy. distract a little bit. You know, don't look too closely. That's how I made it this far. Billy, your hips don't lie. <laughs> I got to tell you, man, this is probably one of the cooler That's costumes true. that we've ever had. Yeah, Billy. Yes. I'm seeing Billy Bush in the next Bridgerton. Thank you, sure. baby. You get to talk to people every single day, but anything you want to say, final words to the people at home. Uh, if you've never done something that's a little on the scary side, like this is scary. Like, I, I, I true, I, I'm shaking back there. <laughs> say yes and do it. That's right. I had a ball. Thank you, guys. I love you. Cannon, I love you, my friend. You know I love you. It has been such a pleasure having you on the show. Let's give it up one more time for my man, Billy Bush. Next week, the Masked Singer gets steamy, steamy in the Group C Finals. Make sure you tune in for the Shower Anthems Night. But right now, 
Put your hands Shower together anthems. for the artist Woo! formerly known as Sir Lion, <laughs> Billy Bush. That's, that's interesting. Love Shower and anthems. Marriage, love and marriage. He says he can't sing, but he can hold a tune, though. Like, a horse and like, he can really hold a tune. Was sold by mother. You can't have one without the other. other. All right. Well, that'll conclude episode three. I know that I was late, but regardless, or episode four, my bad. We'll be on episode five when it come out tomorrow. Um, hopefully, I can watch it live. If not, then, you know, y'all get it first thing Thursday morning. But there shouldn't be a reason why I can't watch it live. But we'll see. You never know. But either way, if y'all like to see the full episode, head over to patreon.com slash Billy You So Crazy. And uh, yeah, until next week, I will see y'all then. Love y'all. I'm out.